It's another winter showdown. We're here with TJ Moon. TJ, you were here the first year. What can you learn from last year to translate into this year? Uh, just be consistent. Always have momentum. And I always have to thank everyone that sponsors me, Redhead Racing, Pine Tree Food Equipment, all of, all my Winter Circle people, and Pine Tree Whaley's Food and Service. They came along this year trying to get me some more money and sponsorship. Now he's walking behind the shot. How big of a help has Chris East been to uh, get this program to the racetrack? A lot, a lot. I ran 85 races last year, really helped a lot. Ran half of them, I won a lot, a lot. 85 races, any highlights from last season? Uh, won twice at Summer Shootout, round eight, round 10. Um, got another sponsor coming this way. Got Simpson aboard and all my family members came out to one of my races. Looks like you're gonna have some more bandoleros to play with this year as compared to last year. What are the expectations for this week at Auburndale? Uh, just to break down some cars, make sure it's all good, win some races. Uh, the colors on this car looks absolutely fantastic. What was the uh, inspiration behind the paint scheme? Uh, so last year we had one of my cars, Old Blue, and we kind of thought let's go with the same color as last year and let's bring, up, let's bring it back. Uh, expectations for the year. We're sitting here in February. What would you be happy with at the end of the year looking back? Um, I was hoping if, I, if we didn't blow up, that would have been really nice. We're running for the national championship. And a good way to start it off would be here this week. Keep your eye on TJ Moon as he sets his sights on a couple of wins at the Winter Showdown. Presented by American Racer and Redhead Racing, this is the Bandolero Division. Your pole setter is TJ Moon looking to go back to back. James Faulkner in the 007. Blake Crooms, Mandy Lee, row number two. Hudson Ruff and Addison Martinez, row number three. Samantha McDonald and Sadie Parsons, row number four with Lily Wynott and Christopher Flynn, your scheduled starters for round number two of the Winter Showdown. The 9 of Moon, the 007 of Faulkner, put on a great show earlier this afternoon with Moon taking away the victory. Talked to a few of these drivers back in the pit after race number one. I chatted with, chatted with Robert Lee and, and a couple of the folks from Redhead Racing. Chris East was quite busy back there, making sure that their cars are ready to go for... This race, and the general feel in the pit area, for the most part, everybody was patient in race number one, kind of minded their P's and Q's, and everybody's got a piece to race in round number two. We'll see if that continues to be the theme through this 20 lap feature go. TJ Moon. The blue number nine to the inside is the pace setter, the 007 to the outside of Faulkner. Wheel to wheel, they come to the green and we're underway for round number two for the Bandoleros. Hudson Ruff looking to the inside of the 41 of Mandy Lee. Battle of New Brunswick, wheel to wheel for position number four. In behind, it's Addison Martinez. And the 14 is Samantha McDonald. McDonald told me earlier in between the two races that she's not the greatest when it comes to qualifying. But she's figured this racetrack out to race well. She's got the speed. She's picked up a couple of spots already and has moved herself into position number six in front. Here comes Mandy Lee back to the inside of Hudson Ruff. The black and green 83 to the outside. The black and turquoise 41 will surrender the spot for the time being. Hudson Ruff will move back into fourth. That is the battle for the fourth place spot. Moon continues to lead over Faulkner. Best battle on the racetrack is this one here. 
for that fourth place position. Ruff up the racetrack, opens the door for Mandy Lee, and Mandy Lee will pick up position number four. Ruff right in behind. Following the 41 around. McDonald. Martinez. And why not just in behind them? Five laps completed in this one. We'll see who makes the first misstep here in this pack of six, if you include the three of Sadie Parsons. This is the battle for fourth all the way back to position number nine. Close competition in this Bandolero division. Looks like Martinez beginning to inch a little bit closer. When I chatted with Chris East earlier, we talked about the car that originally was supposed to be Addison's car. Got shortened up a little bit in one of the final practice sessions. They had to swap some stuff over. And they were still trying to dial it in during that first race. And they had an opportunity to get on the racetrack, do some practice in between these two races. So still trying to dial in that redhead racing car. Looks like they have made some progress on it, but they've still got some work to do. McDonald right in front of Martinez, which is your third place finisher in the first race this week. Then you got this battle right here. This is for position at number four, led by the 41 of Mandy Lee. Lee doing a great job sitting in position number four. Made the transition last season to move south and focus on her racing career. Battle for sixth on our screen. Samantha McDonald, Addison Martinez. Behind Lily Why Not has her hands full with Sadie Parsons. Talked about the beginners lifting the left wheel up off the ground. You saw that from the three there through one and two. The American racer Bandolero is putting on a great show. Three once again of Parsons looking to the inside of the pearl white number two of Why Not. That is the battle for position number eight. Plenty of battles throughout this race. The Bando's putting on a great show. Not missing anything up in front. But six car lengths or so in between your top two. As they come into your shot right here at a four. There's the nine of TJ Moon with four laps to go. Faulkner in second. And then about a half track behind this battle is third on back. These two have it figured out. Three laps remaining in the Bandolero feature. And they are coming up on some lap traffic. Whether they get there or not, it's going to be a different story. I think TJ Moon's going to be on this one. Can Faulkner capitalize? Parsons and why not? Right ahead of your leader. Parsons goes wide, allows Moon to the inside. They will come this time to the white flag. Final lap is why not just ahead of TJ Moon. Moon goes to the inside and clears the lap car. TJ Moon through three and four will go back to back to open the winter showdown. He wins the Bandolero feature on round number two. We'll run down trackside and chat with your top three finishers.
TJ Moon climbing from the car, the winner. Second in a row for TJ Moon. Quick pace to that one, which means you caught some lap traffic at the end of it. How much nerves did they uh, give you at the end? A little bit. I saw James catching me up a little bit. I like to think Find you food equipment, Red Hat Racing, Benamax, Whaley's, Cochran, GT Overhead Doors, Dean Ascom Heating, my mom, my dad, Red Hat Racing. Thank you a lot. Two for two is a great way to start the week, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Congratulations. Thank you. That's TJ Moon. Okay, James. Second one. You got close with the lap traffic. How many, how many nerves did you have catching that lap traffic at the end? Um, so say that again. How much nerves did you have catching that lap traffic at the end? Uh, so uh, it was, uh, I, love, I love racing, and uh, I love going. Uh, I love battling with people. So uh, kudos to... Uh, uh, TJ Moon, um, and good job to him, too. Um, uh, I just want to thank my Lord Jesus Christ for dying on the cross for my sins once again, um, because without this, without him, he would not be possible. We would not be here today, and um, I'm just so blessed to be racing because there's so many kids out there that wish they could be racing, and uh, but they don't, so I'm just so blessed that I get to do this, and I want to thank my dad for giving me a fast hot rod, and uh, I will just thank my whole family support for supporting me. Well said. Congratulations. Thank you. That's James Faulkner and over here to Blake Crooms. Blake, what else did you need to catch up to those top two? Um. You had a fast race car, though, didn't you? Yeah. Who's this crew around here that's helping you out? My mom, my sister, and my dad. Congratulations. Thank you. There you go, top three. What a show put on by the Bandoleros. One more feature to come, the legend car. We'll be out next.